Hi there. We invite you to watch this brief presentation on how to be safe while living in student housing. First, we'd like to share some facts about campus fires. From 2000 to present, there have been 92 fatal fires involving student housing. The top three causes of fires in residence halls are smoking, cooking, and candles. Since 2003, nearly 4,000 fires have occurred on college campuses around the country, and nearly half of fatalities from campus fires were among 20 and 21-year-olds. It is critical that you never disable or remove smoke detectors. More than half of fatal fires occurred in residences where smoke alarms were missing or had been tampered with. If you live on campus and your detector emits a low battery alarm, you can submit a maintenance request on the Panther Central website and we will take care of replacing it for you. You should be extra vigilant during the winter months when fires are most likely to occur. Fires also tend to occur more frequently on the weekends and in evenings. Studies have shown that alcohol was a factor in more than 70% of all fatal campus fires. This has been attributed to risky behaviors and a slow response to alarms while under the influence of alcohol. Anyone who has lived on campus knows fire drills are a regular occurrence. We hold fire drills twice per year in all university housing, but there are also additional steps you can take to prepare yourself for an emergency. When you move into your residence hall, make sure to familiarize yourself with the emergency exit routes. In residence halls, you should find maps and alarm pole stations on your floor. Memorize the locations of these items in case of an emergency. If you discover fire or smoke, you should activate the pole station nearest you. This will automatically notify the Pitt Police and the Pittsburgh Fire Department. It is recommended that you close windows and doors as you leave, locking your door and taking your university ID with you. Follow the evacuation route and inform other residents of the fire as you leave. Always use the stairs instead of elevators. Once you have exited the building, do not re-enter until told it is safe to do so by staff or emergency personnel. Residents of university-owned apartments will be notified by university personnel when it is safe to re-enter the building. You should also move to the assembly place for your building. Make sure you know the evacuation location for your residence hall. This information is available in the residence handbook and the guidelines for staying safe in university residences pamphlet. There are a number of safety tools in residence halls and in your apartment. However, if you live in a residence hall, your first course of action is always to evacuate and notify emergency personnel such as the Pitt Police. You can call them at 412-624-2121. If you live off campus, you can call 911 though the Pitt Police are still a good option if you live in Oakland. Note that if you have an urgent issue that doesn't immediately impact your safety, you can call Panther Central at 412-648-1100. While fire extinguishers can be found every 75 feet in residence halls, they are intended only for use by emergency personnel. Still, it is helpful to know how they operate when you are living off campus. You may use an extinguisher when the fire is confined to a small area, such as a wastebasket. Before using an extinguisher, you should make sure everyone has evacuated the building, call the fire department or police, and only use it if the room is not filled with smoke. To operate, pull the pin to unlock the lever, aim at the base of the flames, squeeze the handle, and sweep the nozzle from side to side at the base of the fire. Look for housing that is fully sprinklered and has an alarm system you can hear when choosing a place to live. Never remove batteries or disable the alarm and do not hang anything from the sprinklers. It is recommended that you know at least two ways out of every room if possible. Make sure all doors and windows leading outside open easily. Closing doors behind you may slow the spread of smoke and heat. Follow posted exit signs to find the quickest route out of the building. If smoke is present, stay low to the ground and do not re-enter the building once you are out. We'd like to take a moment to talk about what you can do to prevent fires. First, we will talk about preventing fires in the kitchen which studies have shown are the source of more than 80% of structure fires on college campuses. If your stovetop catches fire, you should not move the pot or pan as it may spread the fire. Small pan fires can be extinguished by turning off the heat and using a large lid to smother the flames. Grease fires can be extinguished using baking soda. Do not use water or flour as it will make the flames larger. If your clothing catches on fire, stop, drop, and roll. You can also buy fire extinguishing canisters from many stores, but check to see what type of fires that they actually can extinguish. Some can handle stovetop fires, but may not be rated for electrical fires. If your microwave catches fire, immediately unplug it and leave the door closed to allow the fire to suffocate. If there is any risk the fire may spread, call the pit police. 
you should make sure your microwave is clean and free of metal before use. Use microwave safe containers and keep an eye on your food. In some of our residence halls, we have set up shared kitchen spaces. The ranges in these kitchens are equipped with hoods that include fire suppression technology. Fans will turn on when the temperature exceeds a dangerous threshold. If the fans fail to reduce the heat, the suppression system will trigger and extinguish the flames. Please stand by and watch this quick video demonstration. Electrical safety is a major concern as well. Electrical fires account for 11% of all campus fires. Make sure wires are secure when plugged in and that large appliances are plugged directly into a wall socket. Do not overload extension cords, power strips, or outlets. Do not connect multiple extension cords together. If you live on campus, do not use your own light bulbs and university-owned light fixtures. You can submit a maintenance request and we will replace it for you. Never staple extension cords and never leave irons, hair dryers, curling irons, and straighteners unattended. These items should be unplugged when not in use. The university has prohibited many electrical appliances in residence halls, such as toasters, steamers, and space heaters. Please refer to the residence handbook for the full list. We also have rules to keep you safe in the residence halls. Smoking is prohibited in all university buildings. Do not obstruct sidewalks, entryways, and other passages. Do not store items in passages. Do not place furniture on balconies, common areas, or backyards. Supplemental heating, cooling, or cooking devices other than what the university has provided are prohibited. The university controls all heating and electrical fixtures in residence halls, and they should not be tampered with. Finally, if you see a potentially hazardous situation or damaged equipment, let us know. You can submit a maintenance request at pc.pit.edu or call Panther Central at 412-648-1100. Thank you for joining us for this talk. We wish you and every member of our community a safe and healthy school year.